It's your boy, G Money, out here right now. What I got this bowl for, you know what? I'll fill it with some fruit. I got here right now this fruit cocktail. I'm calling it fruit salad because honestly, I don't care about definitions. This came from a can called fruit cocktail, right? Which means this is a true fruit cocktail. But what's a fruit cocktail? What's a fruit salad? What is a, what does that mean? There's so many other more fruits out there. And to celebrate this glorious month and all its fruitiness, we're gonna be including more fruits in this fruit cocktail for us to try today. So stay tuned. So the reason why I use this can of scrumptiousness is because I'm too lazy to go out and individually get what needed to make a fruit salad. And plus the difference between a fruit cocktail and fruit salad is very ambiguous anyway. So that's my fruit salad now. Where's the G-Money spice? Where's the, the tang? Where's the zing? That doesn't embody me, nor what's going on for the rest of the month. Well, I got you. See, we're gonna be adding in more fruit to this that traditionally doesn't belong inside a fruit salad, but are technically all considered fruits. And I'm gonna have to eat this and I'm gonna have to figure out whether or not this is actually enjoyable. And you're gonna be here with me. So let's get started, I guess. <laughs> so I was given a knife and a fruit. Very bad uh, planning upon my uh, team. So we got some cucumbers in there. I decided to cut some, a few of them that are actually kind of smaller. Just a little more bite size. This I'm not afraid of. This ain't bad, but cu cucumbers <laughs> are, are pretty like tasty and they're kind of like if water was, was a fruit, kind of. I don't know how to describe that any other better way. Not bad. We got some weirder shit over here, so we're gonna keep going. So we're gonna go with tomato next. Look at some tomatoes. Tomatoes. <laughs> See, tomatoes are kind of good on their own, a little bit. I'm not a big, big eat tomatoes by themselves kind of guy. I usually like to salt pepper them a little bit. But today they're going inside a salad. So we're just gonna keep going until this thing is like ungodly. That doesn't look too bad. The colorations still look nice and like vibrant as a fruit salad. Tomatoes, tomatoes and cucumber. Good. It doesn't taste bad. It doesn't upset the balance. Tomatoes and cucumbers do not upset the balance of a fruit salad. So in fact, you can probably put tomatoes in a fruit salad and no one about to die. I honestly, just as between me and between me and y'all guys, if you make a fruit salad for a family event, please, please for me, put some tomatoes in there, put a cucumber in there maybe and to see if anyone calls you on it. This is vibrant. This is a bell pepper. A little tiny bell, baby bell pepper. And just... And honestly, that adds a nice little color to it too. It adds such a nice color. Look at that. It adds, it adds a... It, it, bell peppers are hell, are completely strong when it comes to scent though. Is there a chance someone could whiff this and immediately tell? <laughs> you can tell. You can smell that more than anything else. That's incredible. I'm gonna try it. Again. This doesn't, up, this doesn't upset the balance of the fruit salad. It's um, it's it's odd, but it's not bad. I think you can definitely get away with putting bell, bell peppers in a fruit salad. You couldn't get away with it, way with it, because people would tell you did it. But taste-wise, you could. But they're not out of place. <laughs> Mm. Quick intermission, just had my producer try this and they agree. It just tastes pretty good. Honestly, from the canned cocktail juice, it kind of like masks a lot a bit of it. You can still taste that it has bell peppers in it. You can still taste everything, but the the, the cocktail juice kind of just like masks a lot of it. Let's add a spice to this. Let's add some kick. Let's go. Zalapeno. And <coughs> Serrano. So there's a major misconception when it comes out to peppers, by the way. This one gets out of the way. Everyone thinks the seeds have the spice. It's actually the vein here that has the spice. The vein is what produces the capsaicin within the pepper themselves. But since the seeds are so close to the vein as they're being produced, there's a lot of residual uh, capsaicin on the seeds themselves. Which means if you want to cut up the spice of your jalapenos, you want to take out the seeds and the vein. Otherwise, you can take out one or the other to get a milder spice. 
put a little bit in there. Because I hate my life. We got a little bit of we got a little bit of jalapeno seeds in there now, just for a little kick. Jalapenos, I hate my life, I hate my butthole. I'm cutting these really fine, because honestly, I don't want to get a whole mouthful of jalapeno. Plus, we already have a serrano coming in there. Serranos, I think, are hotter than a jalapeno. I've honestly don't, it's been a while since I've checked my uh, jalapeno serrano hot index, you know what I mean? So hopefully, this, me only using like bait a little bit less than half of a jalapeno, a little bit less than half of a serrano, makes this bearable for my Caucasian tongue to consume. Ugh. <sighs> bone apple gums, I guess. Mm. Ooh, oh! So. That's spicy. That's hot. That's, ooh. Ooh. All right. That's a fruit salad that burns the oh oh. My fruit salad puts some hair on my chest. Look at that. Look at that. Something's in my throat that's burning. Oh my god. This was not the plan. Oh god. It's about as it's about as hot as like. Again, I took I took a piece that had a lot of the peppers and, and seeds on it. It's about as hot as like some green salsas. For me, it's bearable. This is, no, 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 it's not bearable. This is like the teetering point of bearability for me. Debating whether I should do the rest of this now. Oh, it's still can't. We're good, we're good. We're not good. So, oh God, you know what? Yeah, it's definitely appropriate to get the seeds and stuff out normally when I cook, because oh, that's a good, that adds a lot more kick than I was expecting for the salad. Weirdly enough, the initial taste wasn't off, but if you remove the veins and the seeds, you can probably get away with putting it inside, inside the salad. I, as you can tell, did not do that. And I did not prepare to have something this hot in my mouth today. Wait about five minutes to get over, uh, I just have a little bit of tingle there, but it's like, it's whatever. A tingle ain't much. This is like heat, man. What's this, this is killing me. Uh, so let's go ahead and push into something a little bit more chaotic. Corn. You're not, you're not, you're not, you're not. It's insane. The difference between a, a fruit and just anything else in general is very odd. First off, vegetables technically don't exist. So that means screw the pyramid. Pyramid's also wrong. Everything you eat's a lie. All a fruit is, is the flower of a plant. Truthfully. It's mainly just a flower of a plant. And so, all of what I'm doing today are all considered fruits. I believe so. I don't know. I don't know. It's not fruit cocktail. I didn't check. I didn't check the fruit cocktail. I checked everything else. It's not the fruit cocktail. So if there's anything in the fruit cocktail that's not considered a fruit. Ugh. Anyways, we got some corn. We got some elite. We got some elote. We got some fucking maize. This is gonna be amazing. Mm. Again, not bad. The jalapenos are actually kind of mixing in here pretty nicely, pretty well. Um, I can taste the corn, surely a little bit, a little bit. But again, it's not out of place. So let's go to our next canned good. Our next canned fruit, salad say. Salad say. Got green beans. I honestly love the shit out of green beans, but we're gonna go ahead and uh, add more green beans to my fruit salad here. All right. All right, so again, green beans. Again, the jalapenos add a kick to the salad, but it, at this point it's still technically all fruit. So, again, keep this in mind. I think the unsalted green beans are kind of like, 
kind of killjoy in this fruit salad so far, which is insane to say. And a fruit salad contains both corn tomatoes, Serrano's jalapenos, but the green beans are the killjoy. But they are. Because everything else seems, everything else seems, like the cucumbers, everything else tastes fruity enough. Is the, the green beans are the ones that are kind of harshly my vibe. Like, that doesn't taste, that doesn't taste right. Honestly, it doesn't taste right. It doesn't taste right. All right. Anyways, we're gonna end. We're gonna end this one off because uh, I have stuff to do today with the coup de gras. We're gonna do olives, black olives. Because my freaking producer said black olives. I hate. I don't. I don't vibe with olives too much. I don't think this is gonna be the best idea. But we're sure as hell gonna do it. So we're gonna cut these up and put them on our salad. So let's tally this up. This is the last thing I got to put into for the day. We have a fruit cocktail mix added with cucumbers, corn, green beans, tomatoes, serranos, jalapenos, and bell peppers, and then now black olives to make the ultimate fruit salad. Everything in here is a fruit. If you think I'm wrong, I might be wrong. But isn't what this month's about, about celebrating? the differences that can come together to make a joyous fruit salad. Mm -hmm. They're not bad. None of this is bad. This is a workable fruit salad. It's a workable fruit salad. There's a crazy thing about this. I thought you gonna hate this video. I thought you gonna hate this video. But again, I'm proven wrong because honestly, this ungodly abomination that anyone who's watching or watching me film this right now thinks I am fucking nuts. But it is not bad. Like, don't let appearances fool you. Don't let your mind fool you. If you think that something might go with something, you would have put ice cream on your ravioli. Just do it. Nope. You don't know what's gonna mix together well and what's not until you just do it. Just do it, just do it, just do it. This has been your boy G-Money. I'm gonna finish my fruit salad. You have yourself a nice G-Day. Happy Pride Month.